So, I got the phone call I was waiting on. I'm actually on the way to an interview right now. I'm very excited and very nervous all at once. And yes, I know I'm wearing the same shirt I wore yesterday. But that's because this is like my nicest looking outfit that I have. But basically, I'm being considered for the role of like a videographer. It's this small company who you actually might be familiar with. And if I get the part, then I'll be doing their uh, promotional videos as well as like running their social media accounts and stuff. And it's only a part-time job, so I'll still be doing my main job that I've been doing for years. But uh, right now I'm so like excited and nervous and I'm kind of freaking out. So I'm gonna put the camera away so I can like focus and I will give you guys an update whenever I leave. So I got the job, yes. That's gonna be really cool. Um, I'm going to explain it in a separate video because there's so much stuff going on today that I don't want to take up a lot of time talking about it. So I'll talk to you about that in a separate video and I'll link you to the Facebook and the, uh, the YouTube channel for it and everything. I'm very excited. And now it's time to open another package. I'm getting a lot of these lately. All right, so this is actually a real Israeli gas mask that I found on eBay. From what I understand, these gas masks are actually issued to civilians in Israel because the, uh, the risk of a terrorist attack is so high there. I might be incorrect about that, but I'm pretty sure that that's what I read. Of course, for my use, it will not be used as a terrorist life-saving device, but rather as a Halloween prop. Alright, so the first things in here is... Alright, this is the air filter. Uh, this is actually what uh, you breathe through, and it looks like this has actually already been used. I thought they were sending a new one, but uh, the cap's already been taken off, and this has already been taken off. So it's a good thing I'm not actually using this for life-saving, because I'd be pretty mad. So I'll set that aside, and then here's the actual gas mask itself. It's got some weight to it. They actually sent like a little pocket knife with it. That's kind of cool. Alright, so let's get this open. This looks really cool though. Uh, I don't know what this is. Uh, another filter oh yeah okay so I guess they sent an old one that was in the picture plus a, uh, a new one this one has been open so it has a seal hmm. okay cool I kind of like this one better though because it looks old and used uh, so I'll probably stick with this one for now but hey now I can save my life all right so here is the mask itself Wow Look at this. This looks crazy. It looks old and used too, which is awesome. I was thinking I was gonna have to like find a way to distress it or something. Alright, so what we've got here. Uh, we've got the actual respirator part. This is where the uh, the filter connects to. It just screws in like right there. That's uh, this is the, uh, the speech area, I guess. And then this is the, uh, drinking straw, which I don't have one of those, but you attach a drinking straw to it and you can drink through the, uh, mask. Alright, so let's get this put on. Wow. It's heavy. There we go. There it is. I feel like I'm a member of Slipknot or something. This is cool. I'm gonna look at it in the mirror. It's actually a little goofy looking because I'm not wearing the uh, full blown outfit, but if I was, it would look pretty creepy. But alright, there it is. So this is gonna be like. I'm going to have a hazmat guy walking around, and he's going to be wearing this real gas mask. And then I have this crappy one that I got yesterday, 
that's going to be more for a prop. But alright, awesome. This is really cool. It's really heavy, too. It feels like it's falling down this way. And I've got to figure out what to do about these lenses fogging up. So, next up on the list today, uh, it's been about a year and a half since I got my tattoo on my arm. And I think it's about time for another one. So I'm on the way to go talk to my tattoo artist to discuss the next piece of my arm. I'm actually thinking about it's going to be more on my chest, like right around here. I'm wanting to do like a full moon with bats flying across it because I already have bats like up here on the shoulder. So pretty much those bats could just be extended uh, across my chest flying across the moon. The only thing and I wish this wasn't a thing, is the tattoo shop that she works at has a policy of no cameras and no photographs, which is kind of lame, to be honest. I've never heard of another tattoo shop that doesn't allow that. But I have to respect their policies. So unfortunately, I will not be able to record inside of the shop today or when I actually go and have it done, which I don't know when that's going to be yet. But either way, we will see what happens. That's it over there, that tiny little pink building. Doesn't really look like a tattoo shop, does it? But as far as I'm concerned, that is the place of the best tattoo artist in Charleston. So August 18th is when I'm getting my next tattoo. Very long time from now, but that's what happens. And also, Emily's here. And also, we're gonna go see Tomorrowland. Woo. Emily's taking selfies in the gas mask. <laughs> 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 it actually almost looks creepier if you take this off. Hold your head still. For some reason, I almost think it looks creepier if you take the, uh, I don't know. Now it smells more weird. Hi. <laughs> I got something to hold on to. I swear, it's always something. About halfway through the movie, I started getting a horrible, horrible migraine. Uh, by the time I got home, I was just like, I was ready to chop my own head off because it was so bad. So I had to lay down for a while to try and get past it. And in the meantime, Emily has fallen asleep as well. So it looks like we're not gonna be able to go to that party thing after all. I mean, technically it's still going on for like another two hours, but at this point I don't think either one of us are really in the mood to go anymore. Which is kind of lame because I was actually kind of looking forward to vlogging and having something interesting to vlog for a change. But, yeah, I guess things happen. So anyway, thanks for watching, and I guess I'll see you guys in the next one.